In the Where there is the LFL title fight in the lightweight division is scheduled five rounds of five minutes. And the referee is Mr. Niels Burskens. Coach, uh, go. safe to generally say against a guy like Binder, you want to stay strong on your fundamentals? Yes, definitely. It's a fight, five rounds it's five very minutes. Important you both know the rules, to make it a good and clean fight. Against against this guy. If you like, We've goes. studied this guy and um, we know we gotta stay in the peripheral of the pocket or out of the pocket, only engage with the wrestling on Aiden's terms. Because this guy is dangerous on the inside. You know, mind these are very, very dangerous. Move. First round. So the right. peripheral of the pocket, meaning the end of knuckle range? End of knuckle range, the last inch of the punch or so. Yeah. And the kid will be aggressive. Here we go for the LFL lightweight title. You look how different they are. They're, they're Uh, you see Aiden's bounce. It's just a little take, test the waters in, and slide out. Test the waters in, slide out. Maybe move out on the net. Seen it a little bit already. Is that what we have him working on? As he steps out, he's got either step left or right. Yeah. And you just see him do there. Just change right. the angle. Keep this guy moving. Keep him thinking. And in between, look, just sting him with little leg kicks, little teeth kicks, little one, two, little jabs. You know. So yeah. you know. So far, so good. They caught him with a decent little jab there. So far, like Binder is dominating K position a bit, but Lee is starting to move a bit more into the center. Aiden is moving side to side outside of the track, but the, if he takes just a little, then he doesn't. He moves forward, but if he takes a little float backwards, Binder might just try to vaporize the gap and just try to push him on the fence. But there's enough threats coming from, implied threats coming from Aiden that he just isn't doing it yet, because he can feel the danger. A looping uppercut attempt there. Right hand by Aiden B. Doing exactly what, uh, what the coach said he'll be looking to do. Now circles into the middle. That's he's establishing that range, establishing that jab. Every now and again, you'll see him push out a little nasty jab and then a little feeler. And then back to it, that little side to side movement on and off the, on and off the line, stepping out, changing the angle. So don't, he threw a one two that were just gentle, uh, uh, for lack of another word. Is that just to that, keep changing the speed and intentionally change the, the threat? And maybe set up, looking to set up a leg kick as well, a uh, uh, high kick, sorry. Uh -huh. that the right hand will set up the right kick. Yeah. Both men showing a lot of respect to the other at the minute. Binder just finding him a little bit now. Binder finds him when he's closer, yeah. yeah. See, he's a little closer now. That's dangerous, of course. Binder's feeling the danger, the threat of it, but he's, he's taking the risk. He's a risk taker. He will yeah. welcome, he'll embrace the danger. But what you see with mine now, what you watch, he leans back with his head up and his chin, um, his, his, his left hand down and his chin up. Now, what Aiden needs to do is start, stall, and then finish the move. What I mean by that now, start to move, stall it. Now he's going to put, lean back with that head and then finish so the in with a finishing move. A little pause. That's like, right. Like an offbeat to the drum. That's right. Like a punch on the downbeat. First attempt at initiating a grappling exchange there from Binder, but Lee pushed him off without too much concern. Aiden's feet look very good. Look at his feet. This is where he's bouncing in and out, testing with his front toes. And bouncing away light. So then he'll, and it's not never straight back. It's slightly wobbled off to one side now, to his left now, out to his right. Binder starting to put some venom on those right hands coming in. Binder wants to land something clean. And of course, that's a risk too. There's one, there's one. Oh, they're coming in, they're starting to throw. Lee backing away. There's Binder gonna, he's gonna there's go, oh, no. big one. So Binder's found some range now. And Lee answers with his own right, a touch, a throwaway jab to a right hand. Andreas Binder's a dangerous dude. Oh, he is, and especially when you know he's gonna start to, if you get to let him get too close, he's gonna wanna grab you and throw you. But very calm, not rushing in after that. Oh, nice flying knee. Gets the, the guard up, so he takes it off the meat of the arm, which can hurt too, it can affect you. And Lee's found a uh, home a few times with those leg kicks. Binder's playing a little. Yeah, Aiden just needs to keep his composure. 
Aiden needs to keep his composure. Don't get into a dog fight. Get back onto that movement. Get that jab move working. Yeah. yeah, Binder is appearing to lose his, but it's intentional on his part. He's yeah. trying to entice Aiden. Yeah. Aiden with the lead left hook. Yeah, he's trying to bait Aiden. Yeah, smart. Smart. Nice, nice hands by Lee there. Eric Aiden come, coming in with the elbow. Probably watched it earlier tonight and thought, I'm going to do that. Final 10 seconds of the round to go. And it's been a tight all action affair. Tough round to call. It both, was, yeah. both fighters yeah. looking very good. If it had to be a coin flip, probably have to give it to Binder just for being on the he, front foot he, a little bit more he, and having the biggest. Uh, probably the biggest moment in terms of shots. Yeah, so Binder landed the ones that'll make the crowd make a noise, and that can affect judges for sure. Aiden was patient, popping. If you're paying attention, he did more, he landed more, he, he got his way more, but these ones will matter. And, and that little perception of him having to run, which is the right thing, and, and Binder landing those ones, yeah, a lot of judges will see it for him. Whether yeah. that is right or wrong, yeah, that's, that's what they'll see. And you can see there the leg kick elicited a reaction from Binder, which if I was Lee's corner, I would say, well, that, that leg kick's there. hurting. Yeah. One second's out for round two. Yeah, Binder's he's, he's throwing wide shots, wide looping hooks. This is where Aiden can take the initiative by beating him down the middle mm -hmm. um, with, with, with punches. Aiden's just going to keep himself composed. You know, um, he, was, he started the fight like how he's been training to fight this guy. Hey, second round. He's just going to get back to it. Yes. Don't get drawn into a dark fight with this guy. Which, uh, which is hard because, you know, he's good at manipulation and... and you know, you feel it is a dynamic between two trained brains trying to influence each other. And, and Bender's brain is very trained at, at trying to get you to do things he wants you to do. It's a skill. Yeah. And he's, he's pushing the fight. As you say, he's the man, um, he's looking, he's pushing forward, edging forward, wanting to stay in the pocket, engage more. You know, all these things do go in the favor if it's a close fight. The judges mm. do tend to go for the, the, the fighter that you know, was initiating, initiating that sort of situation. Yeah, there's something sort of aesthetically pleasing to the eye about a kid that's kind of wound up and you feel that kind of visceral energy. And just that, I mean, there, there are great fighters who, you know, Ben Henderson, for example, wonderful fighter, won some fights that a lot of people thought he lost just with posture, really yeah. with like just an alpha posture that, that convinced, you know, two or three of the people sitting beside the cage that he won. Yeah. Um, maybe Aiden now. Oh, oh, big shot. Hit clean. Lee's going backwards. He's looking a little bit perturbed. Aiden answers, and that's the key, and he answers twice with his left hands, and that sort of stopped this stalking mechanism. But yeah, the overhand right rocked him for sure. And this is where Aiden's going to start sitting down on his punches a little bit more. Yeah, when the guy's hunting. Yeah. Into continuing that forward momentum. And let's remember this is a championship fight, so it will be five rounds of three minutes. So there's a lot of time for everyone to get some work done here. It, it is wild that Binder has just been like, well, you know, tw through 12 minutes, let's have a fist fight. You know, you would think that he's he, he would look to grapple or, or try to test some other oh. things there. Yeah, now's the time. Chop the leg down. And no, he says, he says, get up. Yeah, I think in Binder's, in Binder's mind, I think, you know, he, I think he thinks he's the man who's got more power than Aiden. Um, you know, he's willing to stay in the pocket longer than Aiden. So, you know, um, if it comes to a fight where it's close, obviously these are all the factors that's going to go in his favor. That staying in the pocket is just welcoming danger. And sometimes youth, you just don't realize you're always in danger. You start to sort of accept it and forget it almost. And sometimes that does that, you know, until the moment you're laid out because you stayed in the pocket too long, you can stay there for a long time, win a lot of fights like that. You see Binder is also putting a lot of stank on those punches as well, which you start to think, well, what happens in the championships rounds four and five? He's a hell of a fighter, Andreas Binder. Like, you know, he's skillful, but he's also, you know, risk takey that's a word, a little chaotic. He, he seems to be having fun, you know? There's a lot going on for him.
but Lee is still not out of this by any shot. He's, yeah, Bender's landed the cleaner ones, but Aiden has maintained his game. Uh, even if he lost round one and or loses round two, you know, he's gathered information and he's tracked down some rhythm, so it may be able to allow him to be cleaner going forward. And what Aiden needs to um, do as well, which we was working on in the gym. Oh, Aiden. nice right. Yeah, right hand. Aiden's he's punching back, which is there he is. Yeah, he's got to get that head moving a little bit more. Another clean shot. Yeah. Now Bender's got the clean ones again in this second round. The bigger ones, the, the crowd noise punches, the ones where you see sweat move. You see that sea spray salt just whip off someone. Oh, another they nice overhand, right? Yeah. Both landed there. Yeah, Aiden needs to keep that left hand a little bit tighter again. This is something he was working on in the gym. You know, he's, he, he's staying in the pocket too long with that left hand too low. He's got to, you know, um, if you're going to stay in the pocket, your hands have got to be high and tight. And it cut has formed over the left far eyebrow of Lee by the looks of it. Yeah, like that, he's got to tighten up that guard. Aiden slipping now. Slipping punch is a little better now. That's what I'm saying, he's got to get that head moving. Yes. Last 10 seconds to go, we are seeing two top-class athletes go hammer and tongs at each other here. Time! So, there's some really cool things about Bender. When you go into that, let's say you're losing a round and you have to go into the fire and get closer to him where your targets and weapons are closer, he will bite down and rip at you. And he just says, there's an overhand right. He just has so much confidence in, in what's going to happen if you both fire in the, in the uh, pocket. And that's a... That's a scary confidence that can win you fights until the day it doesn't. Yeah. But right now it's working for him. Yeah, and Binder, once he does smell blood, he comes in, but he comes in reckless. You know, he's yep. leaving himself a bit wide open. Um, as I say, he starts throwing wide hooks, where if Aiden now uh, still keeps his composure, he can capitalize on that, you know? He, yes. You know, by, by countering with that straight, nasty right hand, with pa pa possibly finishing with a night kite left hook. You know, but um, no doubt Fabian will put him straight on it. We'll see third round out of five. Most likely the first two to Binder, but okay, judge there's still a lot fight. left of this fight to go. I mean, these two kids are in shape. <laughs> You know, going into round three, they're just at the speed at which they're operating. It, it could be round one. Yeah. It, it doesn't yeah. look like they've no. noticeably slowed or even reduced the pace at this stage. This is high end. This is as high end uh, lightweight fight as you're finding out uh, out in the world right now. Now, what I'm seeing now, Aiden's starting to hold the middle a little bit more, which Fabian would have told him because you can't be constantly on the back foot with this guy. Push yeah. him on the back foot. Let's have a look what he's got. And all that, I think Aiden would have related them that, that, that info to him during the little break there. Because as you can see now, Aiden's starting to push in his if dish, the initiative, holding the middle of the cage a little bit more. He's just got to get now a bit more nasty with the striking. There you go. And you do see uh, Bender leaning away there. His feet are getting back, and then his torso's back, so he didn't get hit, but, but it's a hittable choice he's making. That's it now. This is what Aiden needs to be doing. Holding the middle of the cage, pushing him back. There you go. Another nice and those shot. Those straight shots too, like you said. When one man is throwing, you know, arcing shots from the outside, hit him with the straight fire. Oh, oh nice Aiden overhand. just needs to keep that left hand tight. And he's reverted a little bit here, Lee. He's just stepped back against the cage and eats another left coming around. They trade lefts, but Binder's landed more cleanly. Yeah, there's something pleasing about the way Binder fights to to the observer. I'm sure sometimes his coaches are 
are upset at some of his choices, but to the audience, almost like Cub Swanson and some of these fighters that just are very fun to watch. And you win rounds sometimes with being aesthetically cool like that. Yeah, but again, now Aiden's turned this more into a boxing match. This is an MMA fight. Yes. You know, let's see some more leg kicks. Let's see some attempted takedowns. You know, this is a boxing match, you know. Um, Aiden is, is, is doing the right thing, but he needs to push this kid a bit uh, back on the back foot a little bit more. There's that pocket confidence. And let's get, some, let's get some wrestling and takedowns going on. And so far, whenever Lee has thrown a leg kick, Binder has not checked it and has just eaten it. That's yeah. a big opportunity for exactly. him. Exactly. He's, he's got a, yeah, he's got a real swagger. He's like, you're not going to hurt me. But the truth is, they hurt. And all it takes is one bone on one spot of tissue, and your confidence doesn't stop it from going. Numb. There you go. This is what you get. MMA. Get some kicks going on, man. Again, Aiden's head starting to get static. He needs more head movement. Lee coming out a little bit stronger in this round. Yeah, middle, As Coach yeah. Davis said, controlling middle of the uh, middle of the octagon, throwing some more leg kicks, mixing it up, but still a close. Still, still, ve still, still close. very close. Yeah, this still is, a close round. This is anyone's round yeah. at the minute. By the way, this is our third out of five rounds in this lightweight title fight. I just uh, when when you enter enter Andreas's pocket and his feet are set. He will stay there until you leave. Like, if you wanted to throw six, he'd throw six. It's a, it's a risky uh, proposition, but he's got so much confidence in him, he'll just stay there. Yeah, but the shots Aiden's getting caught with, right? He's giving away something for nothing. Because when he's breaking away from a um, from an exchange, look where his left hand is. Oh, yeah, <laughs> nice. A straight right. Yeah, I, I feel you. When they, when they move back away, if your left hand is not in a position to goaltend that overhand right, you're going to eat it. There you go. But true, interesting, we've not seen Binder try and use any of his judo so far or really engage in any grappling. He's, yeah, he's in a kickboxing party right now. And another beautiful leg kick from Lee. You can see the toll of the fight is starting to make some marks on both men yeah. with Binder's nose a little bit bloodied and the cut above Lee's left eye, even though it looks like it's mainly closed up now. Yeah, it's. I think we should probably uh, give up on trying to score this fight. If, if we're trying, the first two might have gone Binder's way, and then this one becomes very hard to, to score. And, uh, you know, unless something big happens now or in round four, you got to tell these guys all the way through, we need every round from here. Yeah, well, you see, there's a difference in the um, in the mode of the fight. You know, Aiden, by holding the middle, he's having yes. way more success. Way better, way better. You know, round. and this is what, obviously, Fabian would have told him to go out and do. And he needs to do this with a little bit more intensity, yeah. more kicking. Yeah. Like I said, turn into yeah. an MMA fight and not a boxing match. So round four, uh, if you're uh, Fabian, you're telling Aiden, we like that even more of it. Yeah, that's right, exactly. But well, that's what I'd be telling him in the corner. Now, I think the fight as it stands, I think it's 2-1. Binder won the first two. I think Aiden pinched that with my hole in the middle. He caught Binder with some nice straight shots, um, some leg kicks. So I would give yeah. that round to Aiden. So if Aiden comes out now and has a good big round now, and, you know, light him up a little bit more. You know, this fight can still, you know, yes. he can still pull this fight out. Yes. Yeah, I would agree. But, but both men are living in fire here, too. I mean, these 10 minutes may not go all the way to the end. They're both taking risks. Yeah. Uh, Binder takes Turns more out. risks. He's, he, these risks work for him uh, so far, historically, through his recent fights. But there comes a moment where you take too big a risk and, and you get clipped too clean. Yeah, but the, the, the success Binder's having is um, because Aiden's not doing fundamentals okay, like going what? away, going, Fight. coming back with that left hand high, you know? So he's giving Binder yeah. something for nothing. And there you go. Lee has staked out the middle of the cage again. Nice leg kick from yeah. Binder. And you wonder if uh, Andreas's corner. Oh! 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 A left hook. We wow. have a new lightweight champion, and his name is Andreas Binder. 
out of yeah. nowhere, a left hook puts Lee down. Wow. And look at that happy kid, and he earned that fight. He's a dynamically exciting, thrilling fighter. Uh, and yet, one left hook, low kick, low kick, left hook, I believe. And a beautiful show of respect from Andreas Binder there. But what a fight that was in the fourth out of five rounds. Binder gets it finished within the first 10, 15 seconds. And, and you know, Andreas knows this too. One of the reasons winning is so incredibly wonderful is because losing is so incredibly painful. And two great young men shared the cage. One has the joy of their life and the other, you know, feels this extreme pain. And this is some of the beauty, but also some of the travesty of, of this great art form. I will see this replay soon oh, okay. so we can get a little bit more detail Watch. on it. Here we go. So he, he threw a couple of leg kicks, faked the leg kick, bink, and, oh, and a right hand behind it, but it was the left hook, really, that did it. Um, so fake through two low kicks. Watch, a fake one there, load, bink. So it was a fake to a load to a leaping left hook. Yeah, that was a good finish by Bind. Yeah, it and really if you is. Look, when he threw that left hook, he stepped off the line slightly yes, and then did. delivered it round the guard. Yes, he did. Yeah, that was a sequence, I'm sure, that was trained many, many times. And you'll notice it was saved till later in the fight. He didn't use that sequence, that, that set play. He didn't use it till later. And that's that's really, really smart stuff, too. He's yeah. a great fighter. I mean, it sucks. For, for every fight, when two great young men and women fight, one of them will lose. Yeah. But when you lose to some to a special athlete, you know, and it's it's just part of the game. And Aiden sustained a nasty cut under the eye as well. I think that was from the uh, blow that came when he was After. on the ground to yeah, finish yeah. it off. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and tough, tough to see your athlete go through that. Yeah, I hope he's okay. Yeah. I'm a pretty, I'm a big fan of that kid. And, and it's challenge after challenge and, and many setbacks at different times for him, but he'll keep growing. And, you know, if he's a world champion at 33 years old, this night will be a part of that story. You know, it is a key part of that story. Yeah, both men showed indomitable spirit and unbelievable amounts of skill, taking it into the championship rounds for the lightweight title. What a fight. Yeah, just when Aiden started to find his groove in the fight, you know, my man's pulled out a snap left hook. Um, and as you know, in the fight game, it only takes that one punch game over. That's why we That's why we watch it, that's why we love it. It's the ability that anything can happen at any time. Sometimes that means a slow paced back and forth. Sometimes it means three rounds of unbelievably high tempo We're back and forth action. Yes. But first, ladies and gentlemen, a big, big, big round of applause for these two fathers, Aiden Lee and Andreas Binder. When the winner of this fight, the winner of this fight after 20 seconds, by knockout after 20 seconds in round four. L ladies and gentlemen, a, a big applause for the champ. The champ, Andreas Binder! Andreas, that does look good, brother. Fuck me, it does all right, yeah. Man, you are not just incredibly skillful, but you're really fun to watch. You're really, you put yourself in danger often. You see, rarely see people stand with their feet deep in a pocket and trading with another man the way you do. Um, do you just love it in here? Or like, are you alive in this fight? Guys, I said it time and time again. You get out what you put in. If you see the amount of work I do behind closed doors, not just in MMA, but in my, my life, day to day, working 40 hours a week, balancing life, training. If you see the work I put in, you'd know why I love this shit. This thing in here, this is my freedom. I can express myself to everyone and showcase my skills and especially show the young kids looking up to me in Ireland and around the world but I deserve the top, and thank you to everyone from Ireland that traveled up supporting me. Uh, can I nerd out for a second with you? The he, fake the leg kick and fake the leg kick to load the leaping left hook. Was that a set play that you guys trained? 
Yeah, we knew, we knew Aiden is uh, very fast. He's very uh, bouncy on the feet. So I just want to lure him in. And of course, I have one of the best striking coaches in the world. Working alongside him for the last two years, it's evolved my striking, and not just my striking, but my MMA IQ. I'm like a young veteran. And hey, I think it's time. I need that call. You want me on that show. Man, the, it's not just, like I said, your skill, but there's something aesthetically pleasing about watching you weaponize your body to smash the body of another man. Yeah, do you know what it was, guys? Um, I fought a welterweight my whole life. I always found I was like a little hobbit in there against all these big boys. I found like I was in a limbo like Kevin Gastelum between middleweight and welterweight, but except for me, it was welterweight and lightweight. So I was like, do you know what? I'm an absolute monster lightweight, and I'm gonna pick everyone apart at this weight. Mark my words. Andreas Binder, that was a, that was a thrill to watch. We're very, very happy for you. Uh, say the last words. Um, guys, thank you so much, especially to all those people over there, that Irish crowd that traveled all the way from Ireland supporting me day in and day out. At least but not least, I want to I want to thank my whole team in SPG Charlestown. Every single person has been on board, especially for this long ass uh, 17 week camp. And big shout out to all my sponsors that's been looking after me, making my life so much easier around work. Anyway, thank you. Your winner and new LFL lightweight champion of the world, Judoka Andreas Binder. An absolutely fantastic fight and a new LFL's new lightweight champion.